Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to check it out how to do this uh, isometric typo in Illustrator. Okay, first step, I'm going to select the type tool from here. I'm going to click, type in whatever I want. There we go. Press Ctrl Shift, Shift plus Alt, scale it up. I'm going to go to Object, Expand, click OK. I'm going to recolor its lighter gray. I'm going to go to the Pathfinder and click on the Unite because, as you can see, these are like separated. So we need to unite these. So I'm going to click on the Unite and everything is molded together. I'm going to right click. I'm going to ungroup. Good. And from here, I'm going to go and select the letter P. I'm going to go to the Effects. I'm going to go to 3D and Materials. Go to 3D Classics and select, uh, select Extrude and Bevel Classic. And here we got the options. I'm going to go to the Position. And uh, here we have the isometric options. Left, right, top, bottom. So I'm going to go try it out. The left, for example. And I'm going to extrude the depth a little more. There you go, like uh, 160. I'm going to go with 170, for example. Click OK. And do the same thing with the rest. Uh, make a really nice composition. I'm going to try to make the same composition as I did before. And everything is positioned correctly so far. I'm going to speed this up and see what results we're going to get. And another thing, so you basically need to arrange uh, the letters. For example, the letter N is on the top of every letter letter so far. So what I'm going to need to do is right click, go to arrange and send to back. And you can see here these shortcuts. It's very important. You need to apply this shortcut in order to work more faster. So send to back. And of course, if you want to go back, for example, if you want to make some other settings uh, on the letter, you can go to the appearance, click here to the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, you can go to windows and select the appearance. And you can go, here is the 3D extrude and bevel. And this way you can go back to the options. For example, I need to extrude the depth even more. And I'm going to do that. Okay, so it looks something like this. Uh, it came out kind of successful actually in this short period of time. Uh, from here, I gotta select all. I gotta go to object, expand appearance. I'm gonna right click on group, right click on group, and that's it. Some elements are together like this, but some other elements were like, you can see these bending elements from on, on the letter P. You can see these are like cut in a couple of pieces. And of course, this has a lot of uh, layers in between. What we're going to need to do is right click and release clipping mask. So as you can see now, it breaks uh, apart. So I'm going to need to unite these. I'm going to go to the Pathfinder, click on the Unite and do the same thing with the rest. And there you go. I'm going to select them all and select the black color. I'm going to add a stroke. I'm going to click on the stroke and I'm going to add 075 the stroke is going to be white you can click on the stroke and select the color for it i'm going to go back to the stroke options and i'm going to make these corners rounded so i'm going to go to the corner here and click here on the rounded and this way it's going to disappear and this is kind of it it was hell of a fun this is a new discovery actually so yeah this was it thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye